Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to try to figure out what the heck is going on with Masters of the Universe because uh, today or yesterday, Mattel dumped a whole bunch of information on new toys coming out. I'm for it. I'm yeah. down with it. Even some of them don't look very, very well done, though. Well, okay. So there's some stuff going on here. So Spectre Creative actually speculated, said that uh, he had pretty good information that the line was coming to an end. And we did a video on it before talking about how it seems like, you know, Masters of the Universe as a brand is in trouble. Uh, it looks like they're tinkering with the sequel to Kevin Smith's Revelation. Uh, they canceled the CGI show for 100% certain. People are like, oh, it's not true. It's like, no, actually, the right, one of the writers confirmed. Yeah, it's canceled. The show's canceled, which is unfortunate because I actually like that one quite a bit. Um, and now we have a whole bunch of new toys, supposedly new toys being dropped. Now, here's the thing. If you go back to what Spectre Creative was saying, he said that there's like an 18 month, I think, window, and it takes a while for all the stuff to basically be flushed out of the system. And some of the things that they're showing now are things they announced like October of last year that were coming. Some of these, like the Moss Man and stuff like that were. Yeah. Uh, Sake Mountain was. And if you look at some of these toys, I'm gonna to be honest, a lot of them are low rent, low effort figures. So, yeah, a lot of repaints. Some a repaints. lot of repaints, a lot of them lazy repaints. Well, where else are they gonna go with it, honestly? I mean, sort of going into Princess and Power, which I highly recommend that Mattel does that because I want them. Um, where, what else much more could they do? They have started getting into the new adventures of He-Man, which right. was Space He-Man, but Space He-Man's not that popular compared to classic Right, so I'm like, so. where else are they gonna go? I don't know. I mean, at some point they're going to have to be like, you know, I understand with Masters of the, if they want Masters of the Universe as a brand to continue, they're going to have to add characters because they keep doing the same characters over and over. And they tried doing that with uh, Sun Man. I said the rulers of the sun they uh, they brought in. But yeah. they, you know, they have a whole other line to keep neglecting. <clears throat> Brushable hair, Shira. Brushable. You have an opportunity. All right. So we're going to, we're going to talk about this. And to also give you some anecdotal evidence again that maybe this is the end of the road for He-Man. Uh, well, at least this, these iterations. This iteration of He-Man, yes. Um, so uh, anecdotally, we do have uh, you know distribution through Entertainment Earth mm -hmm. um, for reasons that I'm not going to go into on the channel, but that's okay. You can speculate. Um, so yeah, we've had several of our cases of Masters of the Universe figures canceled yes. over the last couple of months. I know I, re I pre-ordered all the new ones, but I'm not holding my breath because the other. Well, some of them are Entertainment Earth exclusives, which is interesting, um, which goes along with what Spectre was saying. Was saying. Yes. 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 Um, um, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, no, because this is kind of what happened with I guess with the as I understand it with the 2002 He-Man or whatever is they basically just dumped the last wave off at Aldi's. As I understand it, like Walmart and Target are not interested in taking any more He-Man on because they can't sell the ones they've got. So it seems like they're dumping them off on whoever will take them, which, you know, Entertainment Earth will take them. But it is weird that there were figures that we ordered cases of and we've been ordering cases and cases of He-Man figures for a long time. And a whole bunch of them just got canceled mm -hmm. multiple like, times. Yeah, multiple times over the last like two or three months. Mm -hmm. So, again, everybody's getting excited. They're like... You know, suck a peach. He-Man's alive and well, everybody. And I'm like, no. You know how old people, when when they're getting ready to die, not to be morbid, but they usually oh. have that one last uh, really good day, and then then it's it's over. Wow. And that got really morbid. That I know. did. Now you made me sad. I think this is this is He-Man's last good day. That's my personal opinion, or at least this version of He-Man. Yeah, I I think they're like I said, running out of figures to do, and they're they clearly even though they teased, I want to point out they effing teased Glimmer last October. The, she was teased, um, I think it was October, but yeah. they teased her. They had pictures of some figures which are not among the lineup that we're seeing, um, but they teased these characters. Glimmer it looks like she has brushable flipping hair. Yeah, so it's really um, it's are you real, messing with me, Mattel? It's really interesting because. The figures that they're showing, with the exception of the Masterverse ones, are are very low effort figures that don't require, uh, you know, 
individual new, tooling. Yeah, it's a new and, tooling, yeah. Yeah, and these Now they're have, acting like tools instead. Um, and again, you know, we don't know if they're going to come out or if they're not well, coming is, out. This is from Mega J Retro. I want to make sure yeah, we Mega, give credit. Mega J Retro um, uh, credit. I like his his helmet, his Mega Man helmet. I, I, I knew about the, the we did talk about it before, about the Glimmer figure, and we were all speculating whether she had brushable hair or not. Yeah. And it looks like she was going to be an Origins figure, and she was, they were going to bring them in with brushable hair. And if they don't, that's a mistake. Because you know what? I am going to rant for a moment. I am getting so fucking tired of them doing these figures. And they get to she and then they just, like, shit themselves. And then they don't release them. Or they don't give them brushable hair. Like, why? what's so hard about brushable damn hair? You know what? I'll pay a couple bucks extra for brushable hair. It's not just me. There are dudes out there who want brushable hair. There are other women out there who want brushable hair. It's a gender-neutral thing, okay? But they have all these dolls. They always, they always stop short. It's maybe there's a bunch of Jews and they're used to premature stuff, but they stop Whoa. short and they don't, they don't deliver they don't what deli- this woman wants. They don't deliver the package. I just want reissues of the flipping she dolls, especially the ones that were like the harder to get ones like, uh, you know, the shower power catcher or the no. bubble, power, bubble power she or, you know, let's get a spinnerella in there. And some things like that. Natasa, those figures, you can go with those because those ones that people didn't get and a lot of collectors would be all over it. Well, that's what they did with masters. They went and they did, you know, scare glow and some of the ones that were harder to get from the original series here. They had a, a prototype for laser power. He man, who was one of the last series. Right. And like, where is it? You know, I, 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 I don't know. I, I honest to God think. But they that, keep losing. They keep dropping the ball before they get to shoot. They, they're, where can they go? Princess of power. What do they never want to do? Princess of power. Where are Who the, are they pissing off? Me. <laughs> this princess of power. Where are the other foot tall uh, She-Ra figure? They where were are do. they? I tweeted the hell out of that Mattel. Tell Mattel we want more sh- Ma- or She-Ra. And I, I, princess of power. I did. I retweeted that so hard. And I got nothing, nothing for it. And you have a glimmer doll, so you clearly are planning origins for them. Why do you keep? Why do you keep shafting Shira? Why do you keep shafting Shira fans? You keep saying about how you're all about Shira fans because diversity and inclusion, but you never. You're not diverse and inclusive. Because where is my girl dolls? <laughs> where are the, action figures? Where are the girls at? With the brushable flipping hair. Sorry. You can continue, continue. Oh, that's okay. So we got Spike Or, which is kind of weird because you have to buy him in a case by himself. Yeah, when you buy the cases, there's a couple of guys. Look how cheap that looks. The, the, this is what I'm talking about. Like, there are a couple uh, a couple of figures that are new tools, but a lot of them look like they're just made with reissue, you know, pre-existing parts, and they're just redecos. And that tells me that we're kind of getting to the end of, like, is this actually the figure, or is this like a CGI mock-up? It looks like a mock-up. No, the figure's up for pre-order. Yeah, I mean, I would, I, I like that they have a lot of new ones, and I, I did pre-order them all. But I'm, I'm very upset about the lack of Shira. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I we think have, they kind of gathered that already. Yeah, so we have a proper revelation fake or. Um, this is the master version. Yeah, we yeah. have Clamp Champ. We've got you know Buzz Off. We got. Um, that Tila, yeah. Yeah, like I'm saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, I don't know. It just, this really feels like, now these were supposedly, um, and I forget their names off the top of my head because they weren't really canon. They were the, supposed to be like the very last wave of Masters of the Universe figures. They were going to do this same thing. They were going to take a bunch of basically kit bash characters. They're all, it's a horror trooper body. It's a horror trooper body with a, with snake a, head. with a snake man head. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's basically it. And they, they were going to just kind of piecemeal these characters together and make a bunch of like Franken figures well, for the last line. If they want to do things that are simple. Then doing the, the classic origins of She-Ra would be very simple because, you know, their body types are very similar. Oh, that's a problem. I mean, I know that, that, that makes them mad. Um, but they, a lot of them have similar body types and you know, you just swap out some parts and you can do all those damn dolls. Yeah. You better these Mattel you have the Mattel collector site. They can still make these figures. They well, can that, still make She-Ra. Just put them on the Mattel collector site. That that is what um Spectre Creative was saying might potentially happen, that they might go to be just, you know, website only exclusives again. Um, but whatever the deal is, supposedly they're no longer going to be available at like Walmart and Target. But, they're, but so. yeah, because they're, they're showing up at Entertainment Earth and you pre order them there. I didn't check the sailor places had pre order, but as far as I know, it's mostly they're, just they're Entertainment Earth. Entertainment Earth exclusive, I believe. Because they got some of email. them, not all of them are. Okay. Some of them are. Some of them are. Some of them are. Like um, these ones, those two, those are Entertainment Earth exclusive, I believe. They don't even look they like. They go in the dark. Yeah, they're Yay. coolish, but they're they, cheap. 
Yeah, they don't look like actual masters of the universe. A lot of these look cheap. Now, I do like the Skeletor. Um, I, already, I bought you him already. Okay, thank you. But they don't cancel it. If they don't cancel it. I have it. a lot of these I order, but they don't cancel it. Um, oh, of course, you have to get Adam laughing with his, his sparkly sword now. Because, <laughs> you know, Grizzlore, now his, his fur is a coat that he can wear. Um, but no, I mean, the Masterverse... It's quasi brushable, though. Yeah, it is. The, the Masterverse figures are actually pretty cool. I love that Ram Man, though. He's He's awesome. Um, I don't know, guys. Like, it's just like these look, they're all like redecos. Well, they're the same all, figure, just yeah, repeated, just different it's, colors. It's just, uh, I don't know. This this feels well, I mean, they put you color on a belt, so you get your it's kind of cheap. Yeah, this is another one again. I forget this guy's name, but he was like one of the, the tail end of the, the master's line. They were gonna, you know, kit bash, and he was basically just a, a white version of Ninja War. You know, and and uh, that's racist. Yeah, right. They, just as just as GI Joe. But um, yeah, it feels to me like we're we're getting to the end of it. I don't know. You know, again, Manny faces same thing, just a redeco. And it's I like, mean, I'm, I'm really happy we're getting new ones. I mean, don't get me wrong. People are like, you just want it to be to be over and fail. Not at all. No, actually, God, we no. want the opposite. No. But I also realistically, I'm seeing on our end that we got a bunch of stuff canceled repeatedly, yep. and then these are looking like they're cheaper and cheaper. Um. Now, there's some that they don't have out yet. For, that, that They're coming. Like Mossman and them, they're, they're coming soon. They aren't available yet. Um, some of these different uh, Masterverse figures are coming soon but aren't available yet. Um, and I'll be ordering them when they are. But I'm just like, it just feels like they can't really go much further with them. Short of going into the many of the new adventures and to, and to She-Ra. And, oh, that's where they're going. <laughs> but you, but, they're, but the, look, they got the new adventures. Where's my... Then I got a frost and we got she two yeah. Shira versions. Okay, yeah. okay, great. Can we please just get other characters? Yeah. I mean, I'm just I'm I'm actually mad. I'm sick of this. It's like every time they get to the ones that I want and a lot of other collectors want. A lot of He-Man collectors collect Shira too, by the way. Male and female. They always they always drop the line before they even get to them. We never get them. Yeah, ever. That, and I'm getting pissed. That happened with 2002. They had to bring Shira out as a, a Comic-Con exclusive. She had brushable hair and a brush, but you only got Shira. They didn't have Catra. They didn't have now at least with Matt. Masterverse, they had a Catra, they've had Frosta, they've had you know a couple, but um, I mean, yeah, they have a, they're having Shadow Weaver coming out, but you know I'm just I'm, it's like it's like foreplay. You get to a point, and it's like I just do it already because I'm getting now I'm just getting pissed. I mean that's I mean it's it's 2002. Uh, I'm just gonna lay here, just do what you're gonna they do. They had classics, yeah, but they're I mean like you know origin brushable hair Shiras. At this point, I mean, I haven't bought Frosta, but I prefer brushable, but I'll take anything at this point. It's like, come on. Well, you can brush Grizzlore. Kind of. It's, it's not even, it's a coat. It's a, it's a, it's a shitty little overpiece. <laughs> it's it's just like he's a... circumcised when his fur is gone. I mean, it's just like. It is. It's like you can shave him. They should, it, his axe should be like a razor and you can shave him. It's like, you know, tr- I'm just, I'm trim just, me up monkey man. I'm just like, you're getting oversized whiplash. But we're not getting because it's a redeco, the and we're not. But we're not getting. But the princess of power dolls are so easy. You already have the. Mm. They're easy. All you gotta do is brush your hair. Okay, M- Mattel. Just why don't we just do this? Okay, You're listen. Cool. Listen to me. Listen to me here. Hear me out. They don't like us. How about we just do like a five pack or something that is Mattel collector only? You could do it on pre order, and you have like different, you know. Origins dolls. I'm selling for Masterverse. I don't care. Origins dolls of she and stuff. You already have the She-Ra brush my hair, so not her. But like the other characters. Or just or I guess you could do She-Ra too. But like give me five characters that aren't ones, you know, or do two two packs and there'd be ten characters. Please. Or if you have prototypes, just give me those. Give this woman her brushable hair. And we'll say nice things about you from here on out. No. That's yeah, I, I, back to this. I'm sorry. I don't mean to keep taking you about sheer, but I'm pissed. The Snake Mountain looks good. Yeah. It's just, I, I mean, again, a lot of stuff was previously announced. A lot of it just looks really lazy. A lot of it just looks like redecos. I mean, some of the stuff is good. Well, Spike Wars new. Yeah. Um, but he was already in the works. I mean, he's the one Moss of the Mossman pretty much looks like the same they had before, but now it's flocked. Yeah. It's like. It's, yeah, I'm not really, I mean, I'm not like super hyped about this because I actually, I do like the Ram Man. I will say of all, all these figures, I think the Ram Man is my favorite. Uh, he looks badass, but I, I just, I'm not that hyped because it, it does feel, this feels like we're, we're getting to the end, in my own personal opinion. And again, it's like how many of the same 
characters can we redo over and over and over and over that's again? why i think that that's more likely than not that it is coming to an end because they've already gone through them again like they did with classics and then after they got tired of that they made ones that they never made figures of and then they, they switched for a while and stopped for a while and they went to this and now they blasted through this yeah and I, I guess the one interesting thing about you know the cgi he-man whether you liked it or not was at least we got new looks for old characters that's and true. we got new characters kind of I think the thing with He-Man going forward is they're probably going to have to kind of, I'm not saying like completely reinvent it, but at least, you know, if you bring it back again, keep some of the classic characters, but also bring new characters into it. Mm -hmm. Because, I, you know, at this point, like how many freaking, you know, beast mans you're going to have? Well, there's a lot of freaking... characters they never made figures of they can make figures of too. Well, 2002 line actually had, but they did that in classics. They went but I'm saying they did in classics, but they could, I guess they technically could do with origins too, but you know, they're clearly not going to. No, no. And now they're going to new adventures, which there were, you know, a lot more characters <laughs> there. a whole line you could do. But I guess Mattel doesn't like women. Mattel is misogyny Mattel. confirmed. The Mattel Evan Mattel women. is misogyny because they hate women, apparently. I mean, I don't actually believe that. <laughs> you know what they could do? They could bring out the, the Netflix Shira characters and they could have, they could have. No, let's not. Oversized glimmer. And they could make her, they could make her proportionate to no, actual. No, no. She no, don't thick, even. Thick, thick thighs glimmer. I just. Because they were all complaining the doll. They were. Didn't look they like They were her. so mad because the doll wasn't fat enough. Um, I'm just, they have a whole line they could do. And and, and and I don't actually believe that Mattel's misogynist. I'm just joking. I'm like, it works for people on Twitter. I'll just start calling them that too till I get my way. That's how apparently it's done. I'm just, I'm just getting tired of the fact that they refuse to do that line for whatever reason and they sure as hell don't do brushable hair and i understand it's more expensive than charge a few dollars more i'll pay it there you go guys i'm sorry i'm not trying to commandeer this for all you he-man fans i apologize i'm just very salty about it well there's your representation i'm the whole damn shaker <laughs> here's your representation you got your snake well, that's teal. true i got my one my, my token girl yeah, shut up you got snake teal what else do you want that's right <laughs> but she's not brushable damn it all right, we got to wrap this up. Yes. All right, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.